So imagine we're going to impact, we're coming down. Shaft lean basically means that the handle is leaning in front or leaning towards the target. Shaft lean, two pros are gonna have roughly 17 degrees on average of forward shaft lean. Hey golfers and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a question from a subscriber. In my recent video, I asked each of you that were watching to drop something in the comments that you feel you're struggling with. And this is gonna be the first part of that. I got loads to get through. Thank you so much for everyone that sent the comments in. And also do the same for this one as I do plan to make a lot of videos to help you guys out. So the first question comes from at 2 one and he asked, how far forward of the ball should the hands be at address? Now this is a really, really important one. I would have to say that anytime that I'm teaching, probably every lesson, I'm gonna have to, no pun intended, address this in the address position. A lot of golfers don't have it in the right spot, plus we got all the different clubs in our bag, so where does it need to be? And so if you're wondering what it actually means is how far forward should the hands be of the golf ball when we set up? They definitely shouldn't be behind. They need to be in forward, but to what amount and to how much with each of these clubs? So in today's video, I got a really simple reference point for you. It's so simple to do, and we'll get into some details as to why we need this in our address position. So before we get started, drop your comments in if you need some help with your golf. And also, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get started. So what is it and why do we need it? Why do we need to have our hands in front of the golf ball? Well, if you watch my compress your irons video, you'll know that we have dynamic loft on a golf club, which is the loft we present to the golf ball at impact, plus our attack angle is create spin loft. You can go and check that one out. But ultimately, when we're hitting a golf shot, we're trying to take loft off the golf club. That's why these pros can hit it so far and so pure, okay? What a lot of golfers do, add loft. Okay, now on average, tour pros, we have this thing called shaft lean. So imagine we're going to impact, we're coming down. Shaft lean basically means that the handle is leaning in front or leaning towards the target. Shaft lean, tour pros are gonna have roughly 17 degrees on average of forward shaft lean, okay? Now that does not mean that we need to start like that. We wanna kind of create that in our golf swing. But we do want to start with some of it, particularly with the irons, and we'll get into the driver in a moment. Okay, so when we set up to the golf ball, we like to have our hands in front of the ball. As I said, this encourages us to get this shaft lean into impact. So let's take a look at a really simple reference point that we can use on our body with all of our different clubs to make sure that our hands are the right amount in front of the ball every time we're hitting a golf shot. So if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of putting something in the end of the grip. That could be a cocktail stick or a golf tee, because it is a really good point of reference for a lot of things in the golf swing. I mean loads, okay? So we know we have to create forward shaft lean at impact. We know we need to start with some of that, but how much with each club is what we're going to look at. So I have here a seven, seven iron kind of middle of the bag, okay? Me personally, like the ball position for a lot of golfers in the center, of the heels with a seven okay and as i set up to this ball how much lean we definitely don't want it to be back that is a big thing i see in lessons i swear like i'll be going first thing i'm looking at you know someone stands up hitting an iron usually struggling with heavy contact poor strikes that's the first thing i'm checking sometimes it can be grip dependent and things but here has to be forward at the start now when i set up to this I want to make sure my hands are in front and if you look at where the T would point at my left belt loop, you can think of that as kind of hip flexors or left groin, but this point here at that left belt loop, okay? Now when we set up with the seven, we can check that and go, okay, that's perfect for that. Now let's look at some other clubs. We take something with more loft pitching wedge ball still pretty much central you could even sneak it back a touch for most golfers club is really dirty i have to do a video on that i'm going to do that actually how to clean your clubs look after them so now you can see same point of reference 
but because the ball is a fraction further back it appears I have more shaft line okay because we've got plenty of lofts on this we can afford to do that because wedges are meant to come out on a slightly lower trajectory nice and controlled we don't want to be back here trying to lift it so we're starting balls a little bit further back left belt loop okay now as we move down the bag into something slightly longer i have a two iron not sure why used to be able to hit it now it's really good for hanging my towel on so <laughs> this is obviously going to be ball position further forward couldn't approach this the same way i do my pitching wedge with the hands forward no loft i'd need a serious amount of club head speed to make that work okay so ball is up still looking for the same point of reference so you can see now i still have a little bit of forward shaft lane at address but nowhere near as much as i would a pitching wedge and you can see how this all relates because we couldn't say right you've got we rule the putter out say 13 clubs in your bag and you need to have okay this one has to be an inch in front that one's three quarters of an inch and it would just never work so we have a point of reference here with this the left belt loop or hip flexor if you like okay so you can see how this is all kind of adding up and it's a much simpler way to think about it the driver this one i get asked a lot should my hands be in front should they be back vertical or where okay now remember if you watch my other videos you know for most drives we want the ball on the left heel unless we're hitting that safe shot we can move it back a bit but here still left belt loop and that takes care of the angle of your shaft okay not back here not here like an iron let the club sit ball is forward left belt loop okay and it's all taken care of for you okay guys so what i'll do is i'll hit a couple of shots from front on just with a couple of different irons to show you the varying amounts of shaffling in the shots but it is a really important thing because we know as i said we have to get shaffling at impact that is like that is a fundamental you know we look at pros and we see them do loads of different things in their golf swing but every single one of them will return the club with shaffling and that's for another video but it helps when we start with some of it to begin with okay guys so i'll pull up these videos and you can check them out me just hitting from front on with varying amounts of shaft lane just so you can see how it points at that left belt loop okay And a couple of decent ones there <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching get your questions in and as i suspected from the previous video the questions i got there's a lot of commonalities and i knew there would be and i nearly pinpointed in my own head what they would be because when i teach golfers day in and day out i see similar problems emerge and obviously if we can make videos about that and put your comments in about stuff that you're struggling with we'll be able to help some other people with their golf while we're at it okay guys Thank you so much and before we go please don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys soon